Hungary's Christoph Milak was absolutely dominant in the men's 200 butterfly at the 2022 Budapest World Championships. So in this video from Propulsion Swimming, we're going to break down and review his extremely impressive swim where he was a clear three seconds faster than anyone else in the pool and he smashed his own world record in the process. So let's go and check it out. If there was ever going to be a world record at this meet, it was going to come from Christoph Milak, home favorite in Budapest. He was disappointed with his Olympic swim because he didn't hit his world record. But uh, th this was almost, for me, a guaranteed world record from him. And what I, you know, normally, when he, every time he swims, he takes it out relatively steady. And in this race, you could tell already, he takes it out from the very get go. And you're thinking, oh, he's really attacking it. Because, of course, the big talk is can he go sub 150, which is just mind boggling to even think about. I mean, that's a freestyle time. But he's gone straight to the front, strong, strong underwaters, which you didn't really see under the water just then. No breath on that first breakout stroke, which is highly recommended to all the younger swimmers out there. And he's, how far ahead is he already? Like two body lengths? I mean, you just don't see this. He is so far ahead of the rest of the field. The world record line is on his hips. Just phenomenal. Sometimes I don't have words for the stuff that he does. A second underneath his own world record. He doesn't use his whole body undulation like you see with Dressel or Ben Proud. Kind of conserving himself a little bit, but he uses a lot of his hips. Kind of similar to what Phelps did. Breathing every stroke, you've got to get the oxygen in. Especially on 200 fly, it's a very tough event. But he's able to hold his technique again. In fact, he's pulling away from the world record here. If I remember, he's just over a second at this split here. If I pause it right now. Yeah. 1.06 so at this point you're thinking you're cheering him on you're at the you're at the, the telly you're cheering him on come on can you can you be the best ever at 200 butterfly and get a freestyle time on a butterfly race absolutely amazing and as you can see from when i've paused it everyone else is at the the five meter mark just awesome now the question is whether he can hold that technique he's got to keep it long he's got to keep his hips up he still goes about 10 meters under the water which is good and he's really trying here. He's really pumping his legs, which is exactly what you need to be doing. You've got to keep those hips up. As soon as those hips start dropping, it becomes very hard on your shoulders. It's going to be hard on your shoulders anyway. It's a 200 butterfly. But he's really trying here. You can tell what he's trying to do. But the world record line's just starting to catch him up. He is tying up. You can see he's just about his shoulders are coming out of the water a bit too high. He does it. 150.3 is a massive world record. I mean, the world record before was 150.7. Anyone would be happy with a 0.4 world record. I mean, the obvious target was to go sub 150, but I think ultimately he's very happy with that. The crowd are going absolutely wild, of course. He looks happy. I think if when Paris comes around, I think he's got a fantastic chance of doing that. I really do. I mean, it's going to be mind-blowing. I can't even imagine what it's going to be like because it's just unthinkable the time that he's going to be doing hopefully fingers crossed because his technique is basically floor super long in the pool and just yeah mind-boggling absolutely mind-boggling well like i said i'm sure all of you guys were like me watching this race live and shouting at the telly for him to be the first man under 150 for 200 butterfly unthinkable sort of time will he ever get there is the big question if he does, surely it would go down as one of the sport's greatest ever achievements. Will he get it? Won't he get it? Tell us your thoughts in the comments below. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please like and share the video. And of course, please subscribe to the Propulsion Swimming YouTube channel for more swimming content just like this one. Until next time, we'll catch you on the next one.